The French Expeditionary Corps, also known as the French Expeditionary Corps in Italy, was an expeditionary force composed of three French soldiers that fought in the Italian campaign during World War II under the command of General Alphonse Duin. Order of Battle The French Expeditionary Corps, composed of 112,000 soldiers by April 1944, including 60% Maghrebis and 40% French was put under the command of Lieutenant General Mark W. Clark and his U.S. 5th Army. Its commander was Alphonse Duin, a great tactician, assisted by General Carpentier. The other leaders were mainly General Joseph de Goisle de Monse, but General Francois Cervez, General Guillaume, General Dodi and General Brossett. 1st Free French Division aka 1st Motorized Infantry Division, arrived in Italy in April 1944 1st Brigade 4th Brigade 1st Regiment d'Artillerie Colonial 1st Regiment des Fusiliers Marines, 2nd Moroccan Infantry Division, arrived in Italy in end November 1943. 4th Regiment de Tirailleurs Marocains, 5th Regiment de Tirailleurs Marocains, 8th Regiment de Tirailleurs Marocains, 3rd Regiment de Spies Marocains, 63rd Regiment d'Artillerie d'Afrique, 3rd Algerian Infantry Division, arrived in Italy in December 1943. 3rd Regiment de Tirailleurs Algerians, 4th Regiment de Tirailleurs Tunisians, 7th Regiment de Tirailleurs Algerians, 3rd Regiment de Spies Algerians, de Reconnaissance 67th Regiment d'Artillerie d'Afrique, 4th Moroccan Mountain Division, arrived in Italy in February 1944, 1st Regiment de Tirailleurs Marocains, 2nd Regiment de Tirailleurs Marocains, 6th Regiment de Tirailleurs Marocains, 4th Regiment de Spies Marocains, 69th Regiment d'Artillerie de Montagne, General Reserves Command of Moroccan Gaumiers, 1st Group de Tabers Marocains, 3rd Group de Tabers Marocains, 4th Group de Tabers Marocains, 7th. Regiment de Chasseurs d'Afrique 8th Regiment de Chasseurs d'Afrique 64th Regiment d'Artillerie d'Afrique 1st Battle of Monte Cassino During the 1st Battle of Monte Cassino in January 1944, the FEC, on the U.S. 5th Army's right flank, took Monte Belvedere and Cola Bait but largely because of lack of reserves being made available, failed to take Monte Sifalca and were forced to halt. In the next two battles, much smaller affairs on a narrow front around Casino Town, the Corps was not involved. For the fourth and final battle the 5th Army's front had been compressed towards the coast to allow the British 8th Army's 13th Corps and 2 Polish Corps to join the line. During this battle, which took place in May 1944, the Corps attacked into the inhospitable Oran Sea Mountains which the Germans had considered impassable by modern infantry. The progress made by the Corps and in particular the lightly loaded Gaumiers, capturing Monte Mayo and pushing deep into the Oran Sea, threatened the flanks of the German forces on their right in the Lira Valley fighting against 13th Corps. The Germans were consequently forced to withdraw allowing 13th Corps to advance up the Lira Valley and the Polish Corps on the right to occupy the hotly contested heights of Monte Cassino and the Abbey on top of it. Bray Aching of the Gustav Line. In his autobiography, Mark W. Clark describes how the FEC broke through the Gustav Line in May 1944. Meantime, the French forces had crossed the Garigliano and moved forward into the mountainous terrain lying south of the Lira River. It was not easy. As always, the German veterans reacted strongly and there was bitter fighting. The French surprised the enemy and quickly seized key terrain including Mounts Phyto Saracala and high ground near Castelfitter. The 1st Motorized Division helped the 2nd Moroccan Division take key Mount Girofano and then advanced rapidly north to S. Apollinaire and S. Ambrogio. In spite of the stiffening enemy resistance, the 2nd Moroccan Division penetrated the Gustave Line in less than two days fighting. The next 48 hours on the French front were decisive. The knife-wielding Gaumiers swarmed over the hills, particularly at night. 
and General Dewan's entire force showed an aggressiveness hour after hour that the Germans could not withstand. Saraysala, San Giorgi out Mount, Duro, Orsonia and Esperia were seized in one of the most brilliant and daring advances of the war in Italy, and by May 16 the French Expeditionary Corps had thrust forward some ten miles on their left flank to Mount Revella, with the remainder of their front slanting back somewhat to keep contact with the British Eighth Army. For this performance, which was to be a key to the success of the entire drive on Rome, I shall always be a grateful admirer of General Dewan and his magnificent FEC. The Eighth Army's delay made Dewan's task more difficult, because he was moving forward so rapidly that his right flank, adjacent to the British, constantly was exposed to counter-attacks. The battle for the Gustav Line had been difficult for the FEC. It had been involved in violent combat in mountains. Then, while Clark entered Rome, the FEC attacked the east of the city securing the road to Siena and capturing it. After the campaign, the soldiers were withdrawn to Africa as they were a good experienced soldiers' base for the Army B that had landed in southern France after Operation Dragoon. Congratulations from Allied military leaders. In a letter to Maréchal Dewan, General Mark Clark paid tribute to the t units and Gaumiers of the CEF. For me, it has been a deep source of satisfaction to see how the vital part played by the French troops of the 5th Army throughout our Italian campaign against the common enemy has been universally acknowledged. During these long months, I have had the real privilege of seeing for myself the evidence of the outstanding caliber of the French soldiers, heirs of the noblest traditions of the French army. Nevertheless, not satisfied with this, you and all your people have added a new epic chapter to the history of France. You have gladdened the hearts of your compatriots, giving them comfort and hope as they languish under the heavy and humiliating yoke of a hated invader. The energy and utter disregard for danger consistently shown by all members of the CEF, along with the outstanding professional skills of the French army officer, have aroused admiration in your allies and fear in the enemy. From the banks of the Garigliano where your first successes set the tone which was to characterize the whole offensive, then pushing on to Rome through the mountains, crossing the Tiber and pursuing the enemy relentlessly to Siena and to the hills dominating the valley of the Arno. France's soldiers have always accomplished everything that was possible and sometimes even that which was not, with my deepest gratitude for the tremendous contribution that you have made to our joint victories. My dear general casualties, the casualties for the campaign were approximately 6,500 killed in action, 2,000 missing and 23,000 wounded. Today the combatants of the CEF rest in the French military cemeteries of Monte Mario and Ven Afro.